very aggressive, and it seems to be a right. kind of right. emblematic of how the police, uh, so police, the community. Not the court, so you're of course not. Of there's a large sense of anxiety out there. Do you agree with that? I mean, the governor is saying he's ready to send in the National Guard. Is that, in your opinion, the right tone? I, I believe so, and I have to disagree strenuously with uh, your first guest, and here's why. The governor's not saying we've got a thousand officers who are lined up who are going to march lockstep through neighborhoods and knock people's heads in. What he's saying is we've got the assets that are necessary for a potential multi-site protest that could break out into violence. And, and what people have to understand is also a lot of the problems that <laughs> she's from outsiders who came into the community, and people came into the community not just from neighboring areas, but from all over the country. And there are intelligence uh, folks who are working, intel units in local police departments, who are identifying where the threats are coming from. You have to remember there have been multiple death threats against police officers, against um, other members of our community. And so I think it's absolutely appropriate to say, look, we want people to come here and protest. That is guaranteed by the First Amendment, guaranteed by Missouri statute. So in hey, this way you two. Until people break the law, we are not going to tolerate that. The John Black will do some. Black gets get a ride. Got call the military. They kids shooting up schools. Uh, they kids shoot up innocent people. They two is watching us. Now that was their come. And then they was their day. Society's messed up. They say, God bless Mary. Me, God bless you. That's why society's messed up now. Why society where it's at now. Because of this. That's a shame. That's a shame here. That's a shame. It's a shame here. Handled this in the very beginning. There's been a lack of transparency within this process. This is a grand jury process that I have never seen before. It's a shame here. I think I do. I think I do. Excuse me. The community, the community has. It is not typical. Atypical. The community has asked for the governor to appoint a special prosecutor from the very beginning. He refuses to do that, and this grand jury jury process, sir, is very unusual. A grand jury is never given all of the evidence to be looked at over a 90-day period. It's not done because in the grand jury, you don't have a judge to decide what evidence would be admissible okay, in court and what evidence David, isn't. I want David to be able to respond. Yeah. All I can say is I choose what they're going to present. Is of that course, what you're with, with the judge, because certain things are never admissible in trial. So in front of a grand jury, Anderson, 12 people in this case, you never put in every single but, piece but, of but, evidence but, to overwhelm that back, grand jury. Well, you're saying overwhelming, but couldn't sure. somebody also argue, well, in the desire for transparency, why not give everything to the grand jury and present them with all the facts that are The right. reason that is never done again is because when you overwhelm a grand jury with evidence, some evidence that may not even okay, be it admissible, would not be it, it would, it would okay, actually David, I want your thought and then we got process. that. I, I am not, I, I don't know all of the evidence that has been presented before the grand jury, neither does your other guest. And so for us to argue about the level of evidence that should be before the, the grand jury. The has made it very clear that, that he's putting well, in every single piece of evidence. Let me finish your thought. I think that's pointless. We don't know what has gone before the grand jury, but going back to the point, grand juries oftentimes across the country, and like I said in Texas, every single fatal officer involved shooting that I'm aware of in Texas goes before a grand jury, as it should, so that members of the community can participate in the review to make an assessment about whether the officer behaved okay. appropriately. That's not All right. I, don't, I don't see how we can argue. No, sure. we got to end it there. David Klinger, appreciate you being on Sonny Hobson as well. Up next, summit surprise. Russian President Vladimir Putin caused an, uh, an uproar by placing a shawl on the shoulders of China's first lady. So much so that in China, the images were censored. We'll explain ahead.